Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about stock costing method. First in, first out, five four, fixed costing and weighted average. Let's log into SQL. For costing method, it only applicable for SQL user who are doing stock control. If you are not doing stock control, costing method got nothing to do with you. To set up costing method, you need to go to stock. Maintain stock group. As in my previous tutorial, stock group got two purposes. First, is to set up your different grouping for stock item by using different sales account or purchase account. Another purpose is to separate your stock category, but for every item, it only can separate into one category. If one item have different category, then you need to purchase the stock category module. In this example, I have created five four fixed costing and weighted average for three different stock costing purpose. Let's start with fixed costing. For fixed costing, you can create different stock group name. For example, you have stationary. You can put stationary as the code or description. Then you just select the stock costing method. But for easier understanding, in this tutorial, I'll create the stock group code as fixed costing, and I select the costing method as fixed costing as well. Then under stock, maintain stock item. I create an item called fixed costing, and select the item group as. Fixed costing. The reference cost I'll put twenty ringgit. Let's go to do a purchase invoice. New. Select the supplier. Select the fixed costing item. It automatically use the reference cost as twenty. Let's say I put in ten in quantity. Save it. And. I create another purchase invoice by using the same item. I also put ten in quantity, but this round instead of using the fixed cost or reference cost, I change it to fifty ringgit. Save it. Now, when you check your stock, print stock card. When you look at your stock card for your Item fixed costing, apply, preview, OK. You can see that the first purchase is twenty ringgit in cost, ten quantity. But for the second purchase, even though you have changed it to fifty ringgit, but the cost still stick back to twenty. This is what we refer to fixed costing. And this is not a popular costing method that used in Malaysia. Let's do a sales invoice. Go to sales invoice. New. Select the customer. Select the item. Fixed costing. And I put in fifteen. Reference price maybe I put one hundred. Save it. Then we check stock card again. Fixed costing, apply, preview, and you can see that your balance quantity is five, and cost is two twenty, and total cost or your stock value will be twenty multiplied by five is equal to one hundred. So. The balance quantity of five total stock value will be one hundred, and you look at your sales, profit and loss by document. Okay, you can see that your sales is thousand five, cost is three hundred. And total profit will be thousand two. So 
This is how system will use fixed costing by refer to the reference cost, irregardless how much is the actual purchase price. Now, let's proceed to second costing method. 5 4. First in, first out. Select the costing method as 5 4. Create an item. In this example, I create an item called item 5 4. Select the item group as 5 4. Reference cost, I put 10 ringgit. Let's do a purchase. Select the supplier. Select the item. First round, I use the reference cost as 10. Then do another purchase. But this round, I change it to 20. Save it. Sorry, I should put 10 in quantity. Easier for understanding. Change it to 20. Save it. Now, let's go to stock. Print stock card. And we check for the 54 item. Apply. Preview. And we can see that for first purchase, the cost is 10 ringgit, quantity is 10, so total the stock value will be 100. And for second purchase, the cost is 20, 10 in quantity, and see this one, the unit cost is 20. So the total cost or stock value for this 20 unit of item 54 is 300. Let's do a sales. Invoice, new, select customer, select stock as 5 form. Let's say I put 15 and the price I put 100. Save it. Let's check on the profit and loss by document. We select the second invoice. Apply. Preview. So the sales for 15 unit multiplied by 100 is 1005. And the cost. First 10 unit is 10 ringgit multiplied by 10 is 100. The balance of 5 unit will be 5 multiplied by 20 equal to 100 or so. So in total, the cost will be 200 and this is your profit. So this is how first in, first out costing method work. Let's check on the third costing method. Under stock, maintain stock group. The third costing method is called weighted average. Same thing, I have create an item item with the average and the cost I put 300 let's do a purchase for with the average item go to purchase invoice new select supplier select item with the average I purchase 10 unit unit price is 30 total is 300 save it so at this point when you go to stock Print stock card for weighted average. Preview. It works normal. Cost is 30, 10 quantity. Total stock value will be 300. But when you create another purchase, same item. The average 10 quantity. This round I put 70. 
save it. There's two purchase with different purchase price. And when you go to stock, print stock card, look for weighted average, apply, preview. And you can see that what is the stock value? The first 10 unit is 30, so your cost will be 300. But the second one, take note over here 70 multiplied by 100 is supposed to be 700, but you see the quantity. Is 20 in total but the cost become 50 why because weighted average is the total purchase cost divided by total quantity so total purchase cost will be 300 plus the 700 is 1000 1000 divided by 20 is equal to 50 so 50 multiplied by 20 you get 1000 meaning that every time you purchase it will affect the costing and affect your stock value today you look at your stock value will be different if you have another purchase tomorrow let's do a sales invoice new select customer Select the item with the average. Let's say put 15 quantity. Then I unit price at 100. Save it and look at the profit and loss by document. Select the invoice. Apply. Preview. Selling price is still 1005 because it's 15 multiplied by 100. But the cost, why is 750? How you get this? Can you still remember? Under your stock card, the weighted average item, the individual unit cost is 50. So 50 multiplied by 15, you get. 750 so again weighted average when every time that is a purchase the cost of individual unit will be divided and changed to another amount if the purchase price is different every time so for certain industry or certain company they prefer use this method to weighted out the total cost but Normally, Malaysia SME, they prefer first in, first out. Now you have learned three types of costing method. First in, first out, weighted average, and also fixed costing. If you are interested in SQL accounting system or SQL payroll system, or you want to change your SQL yearly support maintenance to us, do contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you. Mm -hmm.